Squaring up to some of the most successful business people in the country is no mean feat, and entrepreneurs always have to battle to convince them to invest. Lancaster-based duo Peter Harrison and Wesley Downham are next into the den, hoping to prove to the Dragons they have a secure proposal. My name is Peter Harrison, Managing Director of FGH Security Limited, and this is my business partner, Wesley Donham. Today, we are looking for a £75,000 investment in return for a 10% stake in our company. We established the business in 2003, initially just to provide door supervisors to the Students' Union at Lancaster University. Since then, our service portfolio has grown right across the North West, Public sector clients include the NHS, several local councils, and Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. Private sector clients include the Aitzes Group, Revolution Vodka Bars, and the Subway franchises. Our portfolio of services includes door supervision, security guarding, key holding, mobile patrols, and event security. In February of this year, we acquired Guard All Security Group, not just two weeks ago, we purchased the assets of another company to extend our services to include CCTV maintenance and CCTV installation and access control. We now have over 2,000 clients, 200 staff. Our turnover for 2009-2010, combined turnover was 2.4 million, with a net profit of £100,000. We believe that our unique selling point is the fact that we are unlike any other security company. We believe we are a breath of fresh air into the industry. Thank you for your time. Any questions, please? A very professional pitch from business partners Peter Harrison and Wesley Downham, who are asking for £75,000 to further expand their growing security company. Deborah Meaden has the question on everyone's lips. What are you doing here? What are you, what are you looking for? Why are you here? Um, some assistance would be help. I think we've actually taken risks and sometimes our risks have, have been costly and if, if, if somebody like yourselves could help us not take those risks again as we start getting into several, several millions of pounds turnover. Give me an example of, of a risk that um, you've taken that you would worry about. We used a, a, a debt collector agency which um, we were sold by the salesperson to be honest um, and we, we, we made a decision to go with them and it was several thousand pounds and it, it didn't actually didn't work out for the, the price that we paid for it. OK, so you would have hoped that somebody with experience in that would have said to yeah. you. Can I just ask, what's your ambition? I, mean, I, think, I think in the short term, it's just to, to look after the financials and do a good job for the clients. We're not just stereotypical bouncers on, on the door, you know. We've got brains behind us as well, you know, just to, just to show the company. We want to grow it into a, a, a domestic and a commercial security brand. A reasoned response from the level-headed Lancashire duo. James Kahn is impressed. You employ 200 people, do you? 200 mm -hmm. staff, yeah. And what the bulk of those people do? We've got about 100 door supervisors, mm -hmm. and that was where the, the business started. Mm -hmm. And we have about 60 security guards. Mm -hmm. um, and do you employ those people? Yeah, they yeah no, no subcontractors, nothing self-employed. They all go pay, pay as you earn. It's very impressive. OK, what's your forecast going forward over the next three years? Next year, it's projected at a combined turnover of £3.4 million, yep. with a £240,000 net profit. Have you got anything that supports that £3.4 million growth? Um, yeah, we have. Um, we've got a, a, an order from a tender which we've recently been awarded with the NHS. Um, and the contract value is between £2 and £20 million pounds a year. One of the things that you've said that's probably the most exciting is very few entrepreneurs that come into Dragon's Den have actually grown through acquisitions, uh, which just in terms of the way you're growing just shows a level of sophistication, which I think is quite impressive. So I'd love to make you an offer. That was quick. I'm going to give you exactly what you want. I'll give you 100% of the £75,000 for the equity stake that you've asked. 
a dramatic early offer and one that has laid down the gauntlet for the rival dragons. How will Theopaphetus respond? 75,000 quid. Yeah, that's, that's fair for 10%. And that's fair from everything we've heard about the business. Where I have got a problem is, is that going to be enough interest for me to actually get involved with you and give you the, the knowledge, my experience, my contacts and everything else and work closely with you? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm struggling with. What have you got to say about that? 10% is, is still going to be a sizeable chunk. You know, you're going to have your money back within three years. After that, you should still have enough to, you know, buy a new car every year. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Sure. You know. Luckily, I'm not struggling with a new car every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but, I'm you, OK. You know, That's not going to inspire me. You know, going back to your original comment about perhaps, you know, 10% wouldn't be worth necessarily investing a lot of time and things. I don't think we need a lot of time and, you know, we, we can close the deals so we can sell ourselves if, if we had the right leads. OK. Uh, hi, Peter. Hi, Wesley. Um, I, don't, I, don't. I want to know a bit about your background and Wesley's background and then how you met. It was, it was really when I started as a door supervisor. As soon as I turned 18, that's what I wanted to do. I'd, I knew when I was 17 it was um, going to be a good owner. Yeah. So you knew you wanted to stand in a door while people <laughs> attack you with broken glasses, <laughs> abuse you? <laughs> Spat at you. Hope it, hoping like that, that it would turn yeah. into something else, yeah. 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 And Wesley? Uh, myself, uh, from a working class background. Um, I was very poorly as a child for many years. I missed a lot of school. Uh, but, you know, I had determination, you know. I went out and ended up as a security guy. just stood on a, stood on a, a retail store in, in the middle of Manchester. And I worked my way up. And at 23 years of age, I was, I was a, a head door supervisor of the biggest club in, in, uh, in Manchester. Um, and that's where I met Peter. The Dragons have clearly warmed to Peter and Wesley, but they still have only one offer. Deborah Meaden looks like she's made up her mind. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you where I am. I mean, it's... Um... Often I'm looking for reasons to invest in a business. And I found myself halfway through this pitch finding it very difficult to find reasons not to invest in a business. So I am going to make you an offer. But I kind of agree with what Theo said about the 10%. I'd like to feel there was more value that I could add. I've taken very small businesses to very big businesses through to exits, through to private equity. So I think all of that, I certainly could add value. So I am going to make you an offer, but I want 15%. I don't know. I'm like Deborah, I don't think that 10% would drive me to help you, although I know I can help you uh, and do a lot with you, and I know I can add value. So I'm going to make you an offer. It's a bit different from the others. I'm going to offer you £100,000, but I want 20%. OK, thank you. Young. If I didn't like you or hadn't taken to you, I probably wouldn't make an offer purely on the basis of that 10%. Um, but there's something about you two fellas. God knows what it is. I'd like to find out. I'll make you an offer, 75000 for 10%. Thank you very much. Three more bids and the duo looks startled. Peter Jones has been unusually quiet. Is he about to make it a clean sweep of dragon offers? Wesley and Peter, I haven't spoken yet. Um, I don't know whether you know that, that I have quite an involvement in the technology based around your sector. Um, and in fact, You'll probably know that Red Care and BT, in terms of connection points, um, up until last year, they were the number one in the UK. The company that is number one in the UK is a company that I own, Wireless Logic. To be blunt, no other dragon offers that. And I'm trying to think, what's that worth to the business? I think it's worth more than... 10% of the company. 
So I'm finding myself in a situation of how to play this so that I make sure that I win. So I'm going to make you an offer. And my offer to you is access and full access to the business that I own and the contact base that they have. And on top of that, I'll give you £75,000, but I want 15% of the company. A tense moment as Peter and Wesley must now decide between industry contacts, the higher cash offer, or the amount of equity they're willing to give away. It's an exceptional situation for the young entrepreneurs. Can we have 30 seconds at the back of the room? You should have a chat. Thank, Thank you. Have a chat amongst yourselves. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, oh son, I never expected that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deal one, Peter, to go in. 7.5% each, 15%. If not, I'll ask if we go back to the room again. <laughs> um, the offers are all, all brilliant and, and we're amazed with the response. Peter, what, you, what you're telling us sounds really exciting. I don't know whether, Theo, you'd be interested in making a deal with Peter. Um, and if, if you could work together, be it with 7.5% each, perhaps. It, it, it's difficult. At seven and a half percent, Peter. Just before the said it, I was going to say, would, would he consider what a hundred thousand for twenty percent? It's, it's massive, you know. I mean, initially we we did say to each other, we don't mind giving a high, higher equity um, away or a high percentage away, but only for a fixed period of time, and then we want to bring it back down to the ten percent. Because we um, can get it back down to fifteen, couldn't we? Down to fifteen. We get, we make the offer. We get 10% each, which is 20, mm -hmm. but then you get the 5% back when you repay the money. Yeah. So, so our offer would be £100,000, but we'd want 20% of the company for that. Mm -hmm. And once you get your £100,000 back, the equity comes down to 15%. Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. yeah. We've got a deal. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Peter and Wesley have done it. They walk away with more money than they asked for and two influential dragons on board. That, to me, is a model pitch, because that actually wasn't... They weren't pitch perfect. That wasn't over-rehearsed. Yeah. They were honest. We always say, if you just ask for the right number, I think his number for the size of business was just, I thought it was spot on. Peter Harrison and Wesley Downer may have given away more equity than they planned to, but they do go away with the backing of two influential partners. They impress the multimillionaire investors with their business acumen. Could it be they leave the den as dragons in the making?